Just as an internal Buffalo Police Department investigation is underway, the police have now released and are commenting on body camera video of that wild March 29th chase and what they say was a running vehicle gun battle with suspect Kente Bell. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. Scott Levin has the night off. Well, it wound through the streets of Buffalo and briefly into Cheektowaga, Channel 2's Ron Plants with the story for us. The 32-minute tape shows officers questioning Bell and his female passenger about tinted windows in a traffic stop. Then he abruptly speeds off when told of a suspended registration and officers decide to pursue. And the pursuit at that point should not have been engaged. Moments later, the female passenger jumps out during that low-speed pursuit picked up by another officer who continues the chase with her in the car, which is, quote, not normal procedure, according to the commissioner. But then... Seconds later, uh, the first shot was fired by the defendant in this case. That changed the game at that point, and that made the pursuit within policy. Watch out, guys. You will shoot. That running gun battle caught on the video with officers at times firing through the windshield of their cruiser with clear bullet holes and others shooting out a side window. All this as police say the suspect, Bell, used this gun with an extended magazine, which was later found in his lap. At one point, a dispatcher says a watch commander has ordered the pursuit to end, but it continues. When a, uh, a command officer called for that pursuit to be terminated, at that point, we believed that we had multiple officers shot, firearms uh, was still being discharged. A higher ranking officer with my endorsement continued the pursuit. The speeds were not uh, high from what we have seen, uh, but there is a, um, uh, there definitely is a danger to the public with him freely shooting throughout this. Then at Fillmore and East Ferry, the car finally crashes as officers shoot at it, officers converging on the car with numerous shots fired. Bell is wounded and treated by officers on scene before paramedics arrive. Now Bell facing five counts of attempted murder of a police officer and numerous other charges. All officers cleared by the district attorney who did earlier this week question their judgment. The commissioner pressed today saying an internal review is underway as 16 officers fired their weapons. One officer allegedly shot by Bell, another suffering what may be friendly fire, and a third suffering a wound from an ejected shell casing which struck the vest. Now again, an internal review underway. Our use of force policy prohibits shooting at or from a motor vehicle unless deadly physical force is being used against you by means other than the vehicle. So we have to look and see what those officers that were discharging their weapons, uh, what did they face at that time? Were they under fire? There's, you know, that's why I'm not gonna make any, um, uh, any opinions right now with the second. Now that internal review could take a few more weeks with statements from the officers and if any officers were found to have actually violated departmental policies, potential discipline could range from required extra training up to and including termination. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.